Yesterday we got some real sad summer news that um, a superhero legend had passed away. So today I am here at uh, Universal Studios Islands of Adventure um, to give tribute to the one and only Stan Lee. Um, not only will I be going to Islands of Adventure, but I'll also be making a run over to see Baymax. Um, like I said, just to give him a great tribute. Over here at Islands of Adventure, they have Superhero Island. And in Superhero Island, just walking into it, right off the bat, you just see so many uh, characters that Stanley helped bring to life. He worked on Doctor Doom, his first character. The X-Men with Professor Xavier. Storm. And Rogue. Along with Wolverine. On top of that, he worked on Captain America with characters like the Black Panther, Ant-Man, and She-Hulk, and also the Incredible Hulk. Just so many superheroes that here, and on top of that, his first full comic, Spider-Man. So right inside the Daily Beagle, as you come in the door, to Spider-Man. They left flowers on the desk for Stan Lee today. As far as the passing of Stan Lee is concerned, mm. Stan as I know him, I think what it's important to remember is to celebrate who he was and the legacy that he's behind. Of course. And the fact that early on in his career, he was, he felt inferior doing what he did, writing comics and things like that. And so always looked at other people. his name. True, exactly. Mm -hmm. he, you know, he looked up to people that were constructing villages and, and, and building things and growing humanity. And then later on, as he continued, he realized how important entertainment was and that yeah, he did. if people didn't have entertainment, that they'd go off the deep end, right? Right. And trust me, some of those people I know all too well. <laughs> you know, the jokes for a while. So I think that even though the last couple of years of his life have been really, really hard, yeah. that it's important to remember everything he's done in my job. He was, and he didn't just work for Marvel. I mean, he, he no, was he did many different facets of comics and DC and everything else. And it's it's a sad loss, but I smile remembering. I remember the last time he was here, which <laughs> awkwardly was down Doom Alley, which was over there. <laughs> he was doing hanging out with uh, Doctor Doom. He actually that was his first comic book character to work on. Well, he, obviously it was very sentimental, and he spent more time with Doctor Doom than he did with me that day. <laughs> Sorry, Stan. True story. But anyway, we're gonna miss him. At the same Absolutely. time, like, you know, you get a warm and fuzzy feeling every time you think about his name. Well, well thanks, Spider-Man. He lived a, he never, he lived enough, he packed enough life, yeah, in his lifetime for like a dozen people, you know, so. Yeah, 95 a, years is incredibly long. How he was able to keep that pace up even in those, you know, those twilight years. So yeah. it's amazing, yeah, no doubt. Well, he's I'm a huge fan, of course, obviously. Of course, yeah. It's always good to celebrate. He lived a very happy life. He did, yep. Very thankful man. Exactly. Just all this, amazing. All the ideas here wouldn't exist. We're all really thankful for him. Yep. So, um, I'm glad that we got to spend so many great years with him and he told our story. Yeah. He brought a lot of joy to a lot of people. He did. Uh, Stan Lee not only shaped Marvel Comics, but he also shaped the way that all superheroes were looked. When they first came out, um, 
superheroes like Superman were just perfect superheroes. They were super strong, they had no flaws, um, because they wanted them to be that way. Um, but when Stanley came in, he helped rewrite the laws of superheroes by giving them more humanity, giving them um, regular issues to make them more relatable to the people around them. So the superhero that you think of today, or the superhero that all the kids want to grow up to be, is because Stan Lee gave them that humanity. So my last stop is over at Epcot Center, where I can meet Baymax, a collaboration with Marvel and Disney Animation, one of the superheroes inspired by Stan Lee. Here's a look at Baymax's set. Got his rocket arm, some posters, his helmet, and his friends. So for me personally, Stan Lee helped bring those superheroes alive, helped make them more relatable like I said before, helped make a little boy like me want to be a superhero. Um, he was able to do so many cameos, which all of them were funny. So I'd have to say, thank you Stan Lee for everything you've done.